Hey, for tonight, we're gonna to talk about redeeming the time, not wasting any minute of any part of your day, especially when you think you just have too much on your plate and how are you gonna get it all done? We are gonna look for pockets of time where we can get things done. Hey everyone, here we go again, sitting in a parking lot. Yep, that's what I'm doing, taking mom shopping. It's my day off today and one of the things that I do every couple of days off is I take care of my mom. So my mom needed to go shopping. Look at this hair. It's sticking up all over. It's windblown. That's okay, right? We're talking as friends. So you don't care what my hair looks like. So yeah, I'm sitting in the parking lot over here by Dollar Tree. We just went to Home Depot. We went to ShopRite. We're doing Dollar Tree. We're probably going to hit McDonald's because that's a treat for her maybe Dollar General, and that should do it. But what am I doing sitting in the car while she's shopping, doing all this stuff? So we did originally try me trying to do my shopping with her. We shop differently. We shop, yeah, we just shop in a different way. So it wasn't a good combination for me to shop with her. It was better for me to just let her do her thing and for me to do my shopping. So what do I do while I sit in the car? How do I redeem them the time? How do I use my time wisely? Let's chat about that. So how do I get things done? You know my life. If you've been following me, you know my life is crazy and I have a lot on my plate. And I remembered my dad when I was a little girl telling me, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. I find at work, I tend to get more tasks given to me. I don't know if it's because I am a busy person and I don't know, I, my list gets longer and longer and in life, my list gets longer and longer. But you know what? I like being busy. I like having my, my hands involved in things. But what do I do, like I said, when I'm sitting in the parking lot, my mom's shopping, what do I do? Now I've had people say to me, oh, why are you doing those things? Why are you taking your mom shopping? You should do Instacart, you should do this, you should do that. Listen, first of all, it's my mom's choice. She, nope, she cannot get out and drive. Nope, she can't get to places. Can she order online? Yes, she can. And there will be a time when that is absolutely necessary for her to do it. But in the meantime, she enjoys getting out. I made a promise to my dad, I would take care of my mom. My mom and dad have taken care of me in my entire life. Taking my mom shopping is the least that I could do for her. Now, is it taking time out of my day off or out of my busy schedule? Absolutely. But you do for family what you need to do. So I have learned over the time, I think especially with my husband having epilepsy, doctor visits, having to sit in the car. He needs to go somewhere. I had to drop him off somewhere this evening. Do I sit in the car? What do I do? Drop my kids off at activities, school activities. Do you sit in the car? Do you sit at the playground? Do you sit, what do you do? Now, with that being said, I will say, the other day I was sitting in the parking lot and I was waiting for my mom and it was just a really rough week at work. We had a lot of activities and a lot of shenanigans. Let's say some shenanigans happening, not with where I work, but people coming in and it was one of those times where it was just like I was, I, I say I'm flipped, fried, and turned over. When my kids hear that phrase, they know mama's done. And I got to the parking lot and I was looking around and there were seagulls. I love seagulls. I grew up near the bay. I absolutely love watching them, listening to them and all the rest. And they were flying all over and I could hear their, their music, their song, their you know, however they talk, whatever you want to say. And they're flying back and forth. And I sat for a moment and it's like that phrase that, you know, take time to smell the roses. I just needed to sit. I needed a moment. I needed a moment or two. Now with being busy, I love being busy. As you can see, I got things ready to roll here. I love being busy and I have a lot to do, but I also know I will crash and burn unless I take some time for me. So how do I redeem the time? There's a couple of things that I do. One is I really need to just take some time once in a while if my mom's shopping and if she's shopping for three hours and I need a three hour respite of just breathing, watching the seagulls and doing all those things, 
I'm going to take that time. But other times I bring things with me. What do I do? I always have my planner with me. This is the one I'm currently using. And as you can see, it's a chunky monkey here. I got lots of stuff in my monthly and in my weekly. Let's see if I can find one. I don't even know if I have one that would be worth showing right now. Because I'm a planner girl here, people. I am a planner girl. I decorate. I do all the rest. My weekly, my schedules, and all the rest. So what I like to do is I use Cozy on my phone. I don't know if you've ever used the Cozy app, my favorite. And I put everything in Cozy. I'm talking to somebody. I plug it in. I plug it in. And then I put it in my planner. I need to write things down. Mentally, it helps me sort out my day. I sort out my month, sort out my calendar. Writing things down helps me just understand where I am in life. So I also have a notebook. This is my notebook, plain everyday notebook. There you go. And I have it, yes, I decorate my notebook. Yeah, there you go. So I have Christmas list in here. I have my son's, youngest son's high school um, life skill graduation coming up that all my notes are in here thoughts on YouTube what can I do right here my my long long master to do's are in here crafts I want to do we are decluttering majorly each room in the house we're doing any repairs we're washing the walls we're touching up the paint we are refixing the vertical blinds if we need to. We're doing all the things that we possibly need to do in a room that we are fully capable of doing and we're getting the jobs done. We're also making a list of jobs that need to get done that either we need to get a repair person or we need to maybe purchase a new item, all those kinds of things. Then we're making a list of vacations we want to go on and activities. That is all in here. Bring something with you that is like maybe a crossword puzzle or Sudoku or anything like word finds. Word finds are what I like. That's more up my alley. But you know, sometimes you just need to, you know, feel like you gotta keep your hands busy because you're gonna go crazy, but you don't always wanna have to do something where you have to think too much. Does that make sense? So that's where I like a word find. Now, we all have a thing called a cell phone. I try and stay off my cell phone when I can. Now I just said I use Cozy app, but you know what? When I'm sitting in the car and I'm waiting for my mom or my husband or my kids or whatever the case might be, and I have to, I'm forced to be in a situation at a park, in a car, at a doctor's office where I am just stuck and I've got to figure out what I can do and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't like to necessarily be on my phone because I'm on the phone for eight hours a day plus at work, but there are moments where I can check comments. Maybe I want to catch up on YouTube videos. So I don't have a lot of time to watch YouTube videos. So I'll skim through, see who's doing what, what topics are really like standing out at me, where I am in life right now. What do I want to do with my life right now? Those are the videos that I resonate to. Shopping list. Make your grocery list while you're sitting there. I carry this, I carry, I did a video, I think it was the first year I started YouTube called my grab and go bag. And I will try and find that and link it below. And I have a grab and go bag. We're going, grab my bag. Everybody knows, get mom's tote bag, my grab and go bag. In that are the circulars for the week, coupons, gift cards that I have maybe for restaurants because we might be out and about and need to eat somewhere. Um, I put my planner in there, my notebook. I carry an extra stapler with me. I carry a pen case. And in that, I have washi tape. I have highlighters. I have hand sanitizer. I have extra pens. What else do I have in here? I have a ruler in here, a little tiny six inch ruler. I carry extra office supplies in my grab and go bag because if I'm out and about, you never know where you're going to be and what you're going to be working on. I bring my budget book with me. I bring maybe the bills I need to pay. Other things, you know, you know what I'm talking about. There are times you just need to sit and wait. Maybe you're sitting for your own doctor's appointment. Bring your shopping list, you know, make a shopping list, things you want to buy, things you know you need to pick up, milk, eggs, and bread. You know, maybe start your menu for the week. 
One of the things my husband and I have both said, we have watched so many waste their lives and they're, they're just miserable people. I'm a busy person, I have a lot going on, but I'll tell you, if one of my close friends or my relatives call me and said, I'm in a situation I need help, I'm right there for them. If my church called me and said, hey, we're having a new activity, can you help out? Well, I'll help where I can. Maybe I can't do exactly what they want, but I can find something that I can do. If my job says, hey, we need you to work overtime this week, which has happened in the past couple of weeks, you do what you have to do. Redeem the time. Don't waste your time. Look, at for, po look for pockets of time where you can fill in the gaps. You, maybe you cannot cook your dinner because you're sitting in a car, but you can write the menu. You can write a recipe. You can, oh, you can do, you can do, you can watch at home with Lynn Wilson. Does it get any better? So all I'm saying is make sure you're not wasting time. I tell people all the time, you only have one life to live. Maybe you need to spend some time in prayer. Maybe you haven't read your Bible. Maybe you need to memorize a Bible verse. Maybe you need to like, you know, do a checkup from the neck up and straighten out your attitude. Maybe you realize, you know, I've been so busy. I've turned into a grumpy person and I need to do a little reset in my own head and get things back on track. All right, guys, what do you do when you are stuck in a situation where you have time on your hands and you're forced to sit because of whatever circumstance in life has you there. But what do you do to fill in your time so that you're not wasting it? Leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for coming over today.